These guys have been on many of shows together. Mm -hmm. They've worked together. They know what each person brings to the table. What is going through these two guys' minds? Derby City Wrestling on the air as the Pope goes high risk and finds a big reward. Cover here, and he can only find two. The faithful here in the North East Center chanting, rallying behind Pope. Rocco had to use everything in his tank. Hold on, wait a minute, what's Dylan Bostic? What's Dylan Bostic doing here? And what's in his hand? Are those, are those quarters? No, quarters? And Rocco Bellagio or the ref, then neither of them have any idea what happened here, Sean. And look, Rocco barely has a hand over the Pope. Is that a cover? Down. Is that a cover? That's it? Rocco's just figuring out. He's seen these quarters, and Sean, Rocco's just figuring out what's happening. Low down, dirty Dylan Bostic comes into play yet again in Derby City Wrestling. from the Norton Healthcare Sports and Larry Center, Gilbert Corsi alongside Sean Phillips for another week of Derby City Wrestling. And Sean, we've got another big main event. The United Hair Champion, Kevin Martinson, making his debut against the Dead Ringer and Aaron Williams. And I am so excited for these people here at Derby City Wrestling to get to experience Kevin Martinson because our champion is a fighting one and we've got a great main event for you guys tonight. And that is a rematch from the Summer Showcase. The last time these, lock, these two locked up, Dead Ringer came very close to becoming the United World Champion. So close, in fact, that the committee has made it our main event once again here tonight. Let's go to the ring. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Wichita, Kansas, weighing in at 190 pounds, Jaden Dominic Rose. Well, combustible, that is the word to describe the force tag team between Jaden Dominic Rose and Damian Chambers. In fact, in my opinion, it was only a matter of time until this all came to a head. And it is right now in our opening contest in Derby City Wrestling Shop. And it has boiled over, and right now we are going to see Jaden Dominic Rose and Damian Chambers settle the score. From Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 200 pounds, Damian Chambers! Well, Damian Chambers is a good athlete who got saddled with bad company. Since day one in Derby City, JDR kept putting his nose in Chambers' business, and they're not going to wait for the bell to ring on this one. This one's getting started quick, fast, and in a hurry. And absolutely, and Damian Chambers is the one that's going to get the advantage to start off here. And these guys worked as a tag team, but I use the word work together very lightly because yeah, this no, was... I think JDR just wouldn't go away, Sean. You're not You're not wrong. These are two guys. I, I think Damian Chambers is a, is a guy that got caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he ended up uh, working with JDR. But now that is spoiled over, and these two are going right to it. Well, now Chambers just wants to make sure that JDR, Jaden Dominic Rose, gets the message to stay away. Absolutely. Loud and clear. And he is getting the people here at the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center behind Thanks, him. Kevin, I'm good. Oh, and right to the back of the arm of JDR, who again, his cockiness might have just got the better of him. Last time we saw these two together, it was after a losing effort between Chambers and JDR to Manby's Ted McNaylor and Dustin Jackson that Chambers said he had finally had enough with, with JDR. And a huge chop right to the stomach of Damian Chambers, who's going to trade him here with JDR, sending him back to the turnbuckle. You know, it was just a situation where Derby City was shiny and new, and the people in the locker room were trying to find allies, and so 
JDR just kind of suction cup to, to Damian Chambers, and Chambers like, oh, it wouldn't be so bad to have a friend, but not at all. It, it didn't work out that way. No, and yeah. Damian Chambers there for a second might have might have cost himself, but oh, as JDR lands on his feet, right to the top of the head of Damian Chambers. And I'm not, I'm surprised that JDR just already isn't right on top of Damian Chambers, but it looks like he might be into a little bit of funny business with the ref. Ladies and gentlemen, also in this hour, we're gonna see Big Mama in action, scoring off against Ari Alexander, making her Derby City debut. We're gonna hear from the Wolf Zaddies, who have an upcoming United World Tag Team title defense against Audacity and in our main event, the Heritage title on the line. Kevin Martins, spaceman, defending against a man who at times called himself out of this world, the dead ringer, Barry Williams. So a big hour of action here in the United Wrestling Network. And knees are raining down after a couple of high impact forearms from Jaden Dominic Rose. Rolling through and a huge splash on Damian Chambers. Could this be it? But a big kick no, out. It is clearly not going to be it, Sean. No hook of the leg. Again, I told you that Damian Chambers is a, is a top notch good athlete. And that cockiness, it proves costly for JDR sometimes. You're not wrong. Damian Chambers grabbing at those ribs. But a boot right to the arm there of Jaden Dominic Rose, which earlier we saw Damian Chambers lay into as he's given some forearms to JDR himself. Oh! And a swing and a miss as a foul connects from Jaden Dominic Rose. Swing and a miss, I, I would say that that was a high fly ball back, 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 and all the way back. That insecurity connected from JDR in the back of the head on, on Damian Chambers. I was talking about that arm that Damian Chambers swung. There's the hook of the leg, too. And a kick out from Damian Chambers, who needs to find his energy. He needs to get the crowd involved. He needs to get back on his feet if he's going to get the upper edge here. JDR, maybe some high risk. And again, precious seconds, precious seconds ticking away. Absolutely. And against someone like Damian Chambers, every second is going to count. High risk, Coco. no reward. That's my line. Hey, that is just like when I played Mega Millions last week. <laughs> you stole that one from me. Both men slowly getting back up. Both hooking the arms and a huge, huge forearm from Damian Chambers. Followed up with that side Russian leg sweep. Rolling through, getting the arm, working Jaden Dominic Rose yet again. Solid in transition here is Damian Chambers. He's got that arm barred in a, in a submission maneuver here, and that is going to do it. It was tap or snap. Here is your winner. The side rush of leg sweep, ladies and gentlemen, was the setup. And then into the arm bar, and it was tap or snap for JDR. Damian Chambers with the victory here. What a night of action here at the Norton Center. What a win here on Derby City Wrestling. Aaron Williams, unfortunately for you, the Saurian 2 has landed right here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh from my cryo sleep. I hope you are too. Aaron, I'll see you out there. End transmission. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, 
it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. August 6th, Norton Healthcare Center, Louisville, Kentucky. See, it's going to be the River City Pitbull, Omega, the Golden State God, Carson Drake, going against the UWN World Tag Team Champions, TMZ. TMZ, let me tell you something. It's not going to be you against just me and my little brother here. Nah, 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 player. It's going to be y'all against the entire city of Louisville. It's you against Fern Creek. It's you against Shively. It's you against my family, my mother, my sisters, my baby girl sitting right there in the front row. Because you see, TMZ, Audacity, this right here, it's the family. And if you have the audacity woo, to show up, and put those titles on the line. We're gonna teach you a lesson, and that lesson is you might be good, might even be great, but you will never be able to beat Omega Day and Carson Drake. <laughs> Okay, friends, welcome back to Derby City Wrestling presented by Car Shield. And right now, I'd like to introduce to everyone for the first time the United Wrestling Network World Tag Team Champions. This is TMZ. Jay Cabrera and Bad Dude Tito, part of a trio. Shane Hayes not here tonight. It is the tag champions. All right, so this is your first time here in Louisville, Kentucky. For the folks at home, Che Cabrera, Bad Dude Tito, long time with United Wrestling Network. And when is it? Next week? You and Audacity for the World Tag Team titles. You see, it's the T-I-T-O and the C-H-E, and you know we be those mighty zaddies. But Dave, who did we upset, huh? Who for did, what? Who did we get upset to get sent to Kentucky? Oh, come on now. Yuck. Kentucky, 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 same difference. You know, I've been here for 24 hours. I've yet to see a good looking woman. Th that's probably why all these kids are so ugly. Come on. That one especially. That one especially. What, la what language do they speak here in Kentucky, huh? They speak English in Kentucky. No, that, that ain't English. All I hear is, oh, duh, we make whiskey. It's bourbon. Other, we like wrestling. Bunch of ugly kids and their mothers, especially that one in a blue shirt. And then next week, after we beat Audacity, we're gonna make sure that none of these kids get any school supplies because we all know it that the majority of you ain't even gonna get past the fifth grade. Oh, come on, Che. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Che Cabrera. Bad Dude Tito, our World Tag Team Champions. <laughs> Let's see what happens next week versus Audacity. TMZ not making friends in Derby City. Polar opposite of friends. I think they might have just put the biggest target on their back, and Audacity's going to be aiming right for it. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Rydell High, Big Mama! Big Mama calls herself the baddest chick at Rydell High. 
self-professed biker chick. I don't want to offend, I'm not a sexist, that she's proud of it, Sean. Absolutely, and I think Big Mama is here to send a message to the rest of the women's division. And her opponent, from Cincinnati, Ohio, she is the queen of the suplex, second generation superstar, Ari Alexander. Ari Alexander making her Derby City Wrestling debut and we talk about how crowded and competitive that the women's division is. Week after week, we are seeing new women debut because they all want to fight their way into the rankings for the upcoming United Wrestling Network Women's Title Tournament, Sean. And what a way to make a debut against the one and only Big Mama. You know, I was talking to Big Mama earlier today, and she was letting me know that just a few weeks ago, she was at Sturgis, South Dakota, for a motorcycle rally, and she said she set the world record for most chicks beat up in a single week there at Sturgis. Big Mama is a bad mama. I heard that uh, most of those people were beat up all on the same day. And it wouldn't surprise me because Big Mama packs a punch, and I definitely think that Ari Alexander has her hands full. Alexander, second generation competitor, the master of the suplex. She is taking it to the top rope. But again, you can't flip a semi. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna wrist lock take over a, a, a big mama. This big mama sends Ari Alexander flying to the corner. And a head-on collision from the Big Mama. And like a head full of steam, Big Mama came in on Ari Alexander. Big shots to the back of Ari Alexander, who already is in a tough spot here in her debut in the United Wrestling Network. Huge main event still to come, ladies and gentlemen. The United Heritage title is on the line. Kevin Martinson defending in a rematch, part due, if you will, against Aaron Williams. It's such a competitive bout. The last time that these guys met, Sean, the committee has decided they will square off yet again. And I'm glad the committee decided it because, again, it's, it was a great matchup the first time. I'm excited to get to see it here in Louisville. And Big Mama is loving what she's doing to Ari Alexander here. And anytime Ari has, thinks she might have an answer for Big Mama, Big Mama hangs up the receiver and lets her know who's actually doing the call. Ari Alexander, her face just getting scratched across the top cable rope. There is no give. Gotta rip and tear at the skin very quickly, Sean. And if she is laying those kicks in, she's gonna have to lay them in a little bit harder. She knocks the Redwood down. Big Mama's rarely off her feet, Sean. And now the master of the suplex is gonna try and apply it here, but she can barely get her arms around Big Mama. She is hugging the Sycamore there, and I don't know if she's able to get that grip as Big Mama breaks it and sends her Big Mama bottom right back at her. Well, I, I like to say that sometimes Big Mama likes to use her gluteus to its maximus. Absolutely, and we might have, she is trying to sink in the rear naked choke. Again, can she wrap her arms around Big Mama? Ari uh, needed to come in with a, a better battle strategy. Oh! Picked her up to put her down. It's, we are going to need to check the C4, C5 spine realignment of Ari after that one is Big Mama stomping up a storm. Earthquake! And this one's finished. Here is your winner, Big Mama! We'll take another look at uh, some of the action in this one. It was pretty much all Big Mama using her gluteus to its maximus and dropping it down like thunder on Ari Alexander. One, two, three, and there's a victory for the baddest girl at Rydell High. And the rest of the women's division is on notice. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. 
CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call Crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Kevin Martinson, that loss you gave me in Hollywood has been running through my mind all day. That heritage title was just within my grasp. But you pinned the Aaron Williams, you pinned the Dead Ringer, dead in the middle of the ring. I can't take that away from you, but you've taught me a lot, Kevin. You've taught me that you're dangerous and you're unpredictable. But you're not quite as violent as this violent artist. And now you're in Derby City. You're in my house. And I don't lose in my house. So I'm going to take that heritage title and I'm going to proudly proclaim it in my gallery. And I'm going to leave you lying on my canvas in just a little while because the dead ringer don't lose, baby! And it's my time. Ah. As DJ Scary Carey keeps the energy in the house at the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center, Gilbert Corsi alongside Sean Phillips welcoming you back to Derby City Wrestling presented by Car Shield. We want to give a shout out to the Louisville Urban League helping us make the backpacks and body slam spectacular uh, a possibility. One West, the economic development engine for Louisville's West End, also a proud sponsor of Derby City Wrestling as well. And we are pressing our way to our 15th anniversary in the United Wrestling Network, Sean. I'm excited, and we've seen so many great matches right here in the United Wrestling Network, and we're about to get a chance to see a couple more greats from the past. It's time to open the vault. The following contest is Super One Ball. Introducing first, from Carson City, Nevada, weighing 175 pounds, producer Peter Avalon. For our main event, and they don't get much bigger than this. That partnership between the United Wrestling Network and the National Wrestling Alliance on display here. And here you see the producer, Peter Avalon. He bought this rope for his opportunity at the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. An opportunity that's not coming to fruition, at least not yet. But he will take on a former world champion. Here tonight. Let me correct you, Todd. He did not purchase that rope. It was gifted to him by some of the finest seamstresses in all of the world. He is pretty, he is professional, and right now in Arizona, he is producer Peter Avalon. And his opponent from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, weighing 256 pounds, he is a former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Tim, the perfect star! Great reaction by the crowd here, the faithful at the Nile Theater. Championship wrestling from Arizona for the former world's heavyweight champion, Tim Storm. But this one's not about the title. It's about teaching a lesson in respect. A lesson that in my estimation is due to producer Peter Avalon running his mouth. Look, when it comes down to it, Peter Avalon is his own man. He did not want advice from Tim Storm, and well, maybe he's gonna dole out some advice to Mr. Storm right now, perhaps. 
I don't think Avalon's gonna be able to talk his way out of this one. Tim Storm. I did. I'm the perfect. I'm the perfect man. And tonight, after I beat you, I'm gonna get my NWA World's Heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you saying this is for the NWA World's Heavyweight title shot? This match? So you're gonna put your NWA title shot up for me in this match? Are you kidding me? Yes, you are. Is it on the line? I think Storm's just, he just, Storm just got one up on Peter Avalon there. Johnny Laquasto, if Peter Avalon, he's, he's nodding affirmatively, the shot is on the line and history might repeat itself. Tim Storm, if you recall, came out last week and said, don't make the mistake that I made. You see the power on display. Tim Storm had a rematch coming his way with champion Nick Aldis. He put it on the line against Josephus. He lost that title shot in an empty arena matchup. Yeah. Is Avalon gonna make the same mistake here in his hometown in Arizona? Well, I think Tim Storm just won the psychological edge there because apparently whoever wins this will get that shot against the national treasure, Nick Aldis. Well, either way, we've got a huge title match coming our way. The quickness on display by Avalon though, ducking the punches in bunches and answering in kind. But he gets trucked there by Storm. One thing PPA does not want to do is trade right hands with Tim Storm. And you know, Todd, you mentioned him being the former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. I think the word former is the most hated word in the vocabulary of Tim Storm. That title was his lifeblood for well over a calendar year. And now he has become a lot more violent and a lot more aggressive, and I can't blame him. Well, we've, we've talked about that darker side of Tim Storm. Don't tell me he's looking for a superplex. Oh to the outside, my goodness. Oh no, that's dangerous, look out. This could be potentially career oh. threatening. Oh, and Avalon out the back door. Tim Storm hit hard and Avalon, ever the opportunist, will try and take control of this matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Too much power, Storm goes for the cover. And why not? Because if Tim, Storm's win, if Tim Storm wins this matchup, he gets that title shot. No doubt, that was a beautiful counter. You saw Peter Avalon go for the cross body, and Tim Storm caught him. And once again, look at the power there. Whole lot of authority with that butterfly suplex. A reinvigorated Tim Storm who came here to do the right thing. He was an ambassador with Storm for the National Wrestling Alliance when he carried the 10 pounds of gold. He is still, he came here to do the right thing and replace Nick Aldis, but now he might just earn himself a title shot in the process. And I'm definitely not gonna argue with you there. Tim Storm is the NWA. Of course, you mentioned he did lose the empty arena match to Josephus, and he has not forgotten about it. He still has his sights set on Josephus, but right now his focus is solely on Peter Avalon. Great oh. roll up here! Avalon trying to steal one there. Super kick, storm the veteran to the outside where he can maybe get back in control of his faculties, but no rest oh my for God. Right in our laps, suicide dive by Avalon. Avalon in control, we'll be right back. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872.
Quick Quack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. This high stakes matchup continues. Avalon in control throughout the break. Again, can't be stressed enough. The winner of this matchup will earn a shot at the 10 pounds of gold. Avalon looking to take it home now. And only a count of one. The power of Storm is going to be a big factor here, a big hill that Avalon's going to have to climb. And Peter Avalon knows that. He's trying to wear down Tim Storm. And, you know, we talk about the accolades of Tim Storm being the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Peter Avalon, 672 reign. They reign as the Hollywood Heritage Champion. Going to roll the dice. And he rolled the dice to gamble his way into this opportunity. Ooh. Oh, that was almost it, that beautiful combination of strikes and then the high impact by Tim Storm, who really got sidetracked with the issues with Josephus, issues that still remain. Well, I, obviously, I mean, Josephus is a violent savant. We all know the guy's a genius, but he has no conscience whatsoever. For all we know, he could be here in Arizona at the Nile Theater. Expect these two to leave it all on the line. A shot at the richest prize in the game, the coveted 10 pounds of gold on the line here. Stipulation we never expected coming into this, a match that we never expected. Absolutely, we have two former champions here, desperate to get back on top. Something's gotta give. We talked about the power, but how about the agility oh, of Storm? Oh, wait a minute! Low blow by Avalon! Distraction there. Avalon at one point, you know, Avalon's got some NWA history too. He was once under the learning tree of five-time World's Heavyweight Champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. He's been in the ring and defeated the likes of former two-time champion, Cole Cabana. Is yeah. perhaps this the dawning of the opportunity, the dawning of the era for the producer? And you just saw Peter Avalon capitalize off that low blow. Tim Storm tried to get outside the ring, but PPA just very wisely jumped on top of him, keeping him in. And you got to get up pretty early to outsmart and outmaneuver Tim Storm. The veteran has seen just about everything in his lengthy, decorated career. But Avalon, using the official as a distraction, caught the low blow, and he is now in the driver's seat of this big match. Shot after shot, but I don't think you want to get in a slugfest with Storm. A storm is brewing indeed. That's right. Tim Storm trying to teach Peter Avalon a lesson, if you will, as Avalon charges in. Big splash in the corner. Avalon pedal to the metal. Caught there. Oh, oh great counter. Well, turnabout is fair play. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. And I think Avalon's going to be singing the high notes, partner. Hanging him up like laundry. Not quite sure what he's trying to say to the referee here. Oh, wow. Just having some fun with Avalon. Oh, he's just trying to assist him off of that top rope. Continue this matchup. Oh, this hurts. Okay, stop it. Avalon finally getting back to his own two feet. Tim Storm having some fun out there. And I expect the official to allow some leniency when such a huge opportunity on the line. We certainly want to see a clear-cut winner in this thing. Upstairs again with the big boot. One of the most powerful weapons in his arsenal. Real power, oh, oh the spear, excuse me, an absolute decleaner. That's gonna do it, Storm, no, so close. Avalon kicking out on pure instinct there, and you know, Nick Aldis, the national treasure, there's no doubt he is gonna be watching this match very closely, no matter where he may be in the world right now. And it could be anywhere with his travel schedule. Absolutely, he has gone all over the globe, T historic title defenses in the UK, in Wenzhou, China, over Colt Cabana. No, four different continents thus far. I love it. The count. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, Johnny. I will not join you in a Count Dracula, Count Chocula, whoever it is. Count. It's Count Von Count. Get it right. I never even heard of that. Avalon, though, with the counter on the outside. Avalon quickly to the top. The youngster's got a lot of athleticism. Cross body, center of the ring, cover on the veteran. Only a count of two. Seesaw matchup back and forth. One that'll leave you breathless. Look out here, Martinis! Got him! And Storm rolls out. Wow, what great awareness by Storm. Oh, wait a minute. Foot on the ropes, just barely. And you know, Todd, you saw Avalon earlier go for that cross body. Tim Storm caught him. 
But this is where Avalon is going to have an advantage. The longer this match goes, the more it goes towards Peter Avalon. He's got more endurance than Tim Storm. That's all it comes down to. Yeah, I agree with you, but Avalon is losing his focus and he is flirting with disaster right now because he's bringing a folding chair into the ring. You gotta be careful here. Don't get yourself disqualified. Don't squander your opportunity. Oh wait, another low blow. Oh my God, he rolls him up. Oh, not this way. The inside cradle too. And that was close, and Tim Storm digging down deep to kick out, but my goodness. The deck has been stacked here in the backyard of Avalon, who's used every dirty trick in the book. And they are all going below the waist. Peter Avalon is a desperate man. Wait, speaking of which, look who's got the chair now. Oh, the mood changed. Oh, Stop. God! That's gotta be a DQ. And it is. Storm snapping. Oh. The dark side of Tim Storm indeed as we await the official word. I mean. And this Arizona crowd saying one more time, well, they're getting a whole lot more than that and so is Avalon. Storm is absolutely snapped. Look at the look in his eyes. That is far from a perfect storm. This is a hurricane. I mean, Tim Storm has lost it. He's lost it all right. He's lost his opportunity again at the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship as he continues to absolutely waylay producer Peter Avalon. Todd, that could have been PPA strategy the entire time, and if so, look, it just paid off. He got the win. Well, I'll tell you who's to blame for all of this is Josephus. That's the mind state. Oh, come on. You have to put some of the blame on Tim Storm. I'm putting on Josephus. Josephus is the one that sent Storm down this path. He's a former champion. He, he needs to learn how to control himself. Yes, PPA may have introduced the chair. Bottom line is he didn't use it. Tim Storm did. Avalon caught him with low blows multiple times in the matchup, Johnny Laquasto. At some point, you got to fight fire with fire. Now, we mentioned the official would allow Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, as a result of a disqualification, producer Peter Avalon. Well, I sure hope those chair shots felt good for Tim Storm because he just lost his shot at the NWA World's Heavyweight title. So Avalon gets the win, preserves that title shot down the line, but he certainly doesn't look like a winner right now, and I wouldn't want to be in Josephus's furry boots. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people, the future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. 8 crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Ah! Don't worry. It's fake. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. The Dan Ringer, huh. Aaron Williams. Wow, not one to back down. Oh, look at that, swing with the cane. Martinson able to duck and able to collide. 
big swinging shot. Even he felt the effects of that one. Yeah, come here and think the of the brain buster. BHK from the stratosphere retains the heart combat. time this week on Derby City Wrestling and it is going to be a good one ladies and gentlemen a rematch from earlier this summer in the summer showcase as Aaron Williams tries again to claim the United Heritage Championship and I know that Kevin Martinson is going to be up to the task to defend his belt but will we see here if Aaron Williams and Lord Crew have any funny business ahead for our champion you should make note that Williams is out here without Lord Crew he is typically by his side and not a friend to get involved in the matchup. He is out of this world in so many ways. Mr. BHK, the Spaceman, the United Heritage Champion in Kevin Martinson, an OG as they like to call him here in the United Wrestling Network, Sean Phillips. You know, one of the crazy things about Kevin Martinson a lot of people don't know is just a couple of weeks ago, you know, our United States government just did a huge thing where they talked about UFOs, alien sightings, and you want to know what was on top of the list? Kevin Martinson. Yeah, he's like, uh, so you found me out, huh? It's not <laughs> Big Whoop, wanna fight about yeah, it. Yeah, no longer a secret here. Not just a heritage champion, a multi-time former tag team champion. He's held the United Television Champion Championship, I should say. He is a decorated competitor here in the United Wrestling Network. The following contest is for the United Heritage Championship. Introducing first, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the dead ringer, Aaron Williams! And his opponent, from Scranton, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is your United Heritage Champion, Kevin Martinson! Martinson and Williams for the United Heritage Championship this week in our main event on Derby City Wrestling. And these two individuals are about to give these folks here at the Norton Healthcare Learning Center one heck of a matchup, definitely worth the price of admission. Kevin Martinson ended a 200 plus day reign. The Outlandish won Zicky Dice back in December of 2022 to become the Heritage Champion. One of these guys is out of this world, the other is out of his mind. We definitely have a great matchup and a shot here, but Kevin Martinson is champion for a reason, he's no fool. He, he's going to be able to tell a tale a lot of these signs that Aaron Williams is going to be bringing to him. Listen, there's something I want people to look out for. When I analyze a Kevin Martinson match, I pay attention to his work in transition, how he gets in and out of holds. Martinson is an innovator shot. Absolutely. He is definitely a dog, and he's been in this business for quite a minute. He's a championship wrestling OG, has held the United TV title, tag titles, and now he's the current Heritage Champion for a reason, Gil. Atomic drop on Williams and Todd Kinley, my broadcast colleague and friend, likes to say that styles make matches. And the reason the committee has put this one together again is because they have interesting and complementary styles. They are definitely two that know how to put on a show. And like I said earlier, he's not here now, but I am going to keep my eyes peeled for the merciless Lord Crew. That's, those aren't massages from Kevin Martinson on Aaron Williams. Those strikes hurt. Yeah, he's Those a... thrust like blows to the chest and back. Chiropractor on the side. Yeah, there you go. Swing here from Kevin Martinson, a miss by Aaron Williams himself, catching the boot. Well, um, that's innovative. Yeah. You don't have to be fancy to be effective, Sean. Not at all is the spillage to the outside of the ring here. And 
I think that Kevin Martinson puts uh, Aaron Williams on his heels because many times Williams is the craziest guy in the match. But nobody's crazier yeah. than Kevin Martinson. Look out! And right through the ring, he took a detour to get there, but still a crash and burn for Aaron Williamson as Aaron Williams, <laughs> as Kevin Martinson comes flying in. Martinson taking the flight to the floor on the dead ringer. The Heritage title is on the line. The champion is on top. Will Williams get into it? We gotta take our last time out. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. You're back here in Derby City Wrestling, presented by Car Shield Main Event Time Heritage Title on the line. Aaron Williams on top. I want to take you back and show you what just happened before we came out of the commercial break. It was Williams who planted the Heritage Champion Spike Style right on his head. What? And Sean, that was a momentum shifting moment in this title match. Absolutely. And now again, I think this is a mistake here from Aaron Williams as he's taking time he might be slapping the tie down but trust me you do not want to tease the dragon that is kevin martinson williams is a multi-versed combat athlete so he has a background in jujitsu parando taekwondo bottom line educated feet sean phillips educated feet and he's apparently a giant fan of a clockwork orange so you know that he is going to be just a bit crazier than the rest of the folks around him and again i'd say that normally but right now he's wrestling kevin martinson this is a rematch from earlier in the summer showcase it was williams in la who challenged kevin martinson and really took the heritage champion to his limit absolutely and up and over here from kevin martinson oh martinson may have lost a tooth well placed super kick right on the butt of the jaw and williams can only find two and a half quick pin following that huge shot kevin martinson re reaching for the side of his face here i don't know what got popped there the jaw the ear either way it didn't feel good not at all and aaron williams just teasing kevin martinson I don't know if that's the smartest uh, thing to do. If, there, if I talked earlier that Martinson was known about his work in transition and innovation, he's also known for his guts. It's hard to keep Kevin Martinson down. He's got a high level of resilience. And we're seeing that resilience right here. A couple of shots raining in from Kevin Martinson, a huge forearm. Let's see if Aaron Williams has what it takes in a huge shot. Cutting Kevin Martinson right back down. What a jab in the home of the late great Muhammad Ali. Come on. Come on. Martinson's looking at the lights, but he's out in two. Leaving the legs unhooked. Might have been a mistake from Aaron Williams there. He needs to stay on top of the spaceman here if he's really going to take this one home as the new Heritage Champion. 
boots to the back here. Kevin Martinson, though, with a huge open hand slap to the chest of Aaron Williams, although he is sending Kevin Martinson, who just barely clings on to the rope for dear life. Aaron Williams springing up, caught. This is huge. This is the momentum shifter that we needed from Kevin Martinson, sending Aaron Williams back with a suplex. And now this man from outer space has found his momentum, getting the crowd here at the Norton Healthcare Learning Center back on their feet and behind their champion. Williams comes in with an attempted clothesline, but he's stopped in his tracks by Kevin Martinson. I know I've seen that move on Dragon Ball Z, but it makes sense because this guy's out of this world. A huge shot, and see you later. Belly to belly release over the top. Aaron Williams is stunned for what might be the first time in this match. The perseverance of Kevin Martinson is really showing through and showing us why he is our Heritage Champion. Six months, more than six month reign. Martinson's held on to that heritage title. A story lineage here in the United Wrestling Network, and he is doing the title justice in his gutsy title defenses, just like this one against Kevin, or excuse me, against Aaron Williams. And we talked about transition. We talked about how Martinson gets into holds, and now Williams is locked up in a sharpshooter. And you're absolutely right. He could have gone for the roll through pin there, but he decided no. This guy needs to taste a little bit of his own medicine, and Aaron Williams makes it to the bottom rope. Kevin Martinson getting his wits about him, getting his breath back, getting the people back into this one. Stalking Aaron Williams, who's able to flip it first. It gets a little bit of that hair hold. Got you for the boot. Stopped in his tracks. Williams pressing now on the Heritage Champion. Whiplash-like effect. Martin stands staring at the lights and his title almost slipped away there, Sean. Two and a half. As he lives to fight another day. Martinson, again, like we've said, he's gritty. He's got the energy. He's got the gas in the tank to be able to go a long way. But it's can he get another victory over Aaron Williams, who, who seems to have the advantage right here. Yeah. Williams going here, scooping Kevin Martinson up, but it doesn't matter. Grabs the waist lock. He's rolling through. What could happen here? A swing, a huge miss. Kevin Martinson is tied up in the ropes. And Aaron Williams with a German suplex of his own. Scoop up. Lance, our champion, one, two. And a kick out, barely any life. But Kevin Martinson survives. Aaron Williams again taking too much time talking to the referee. Focused on the wrong thing. And what is this? An arm bar right here. And that's it. That does it. Here is your winner. And still, United Heritage Champion, Kevin Martinson. Martinson with another incredible title defense as he makes his Derby City Wrestling debut. And there, there's Lord Crew. And you can hand me my $5 because I called it. I knew it. I would say he's a little bit late, which is surprising. But I called it, and Lord Crew has made an appearance. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day, as you said it, Kevin Martinson, the king of transitions, and transitioned himself into a victory here, tapping Aaron Williams.